What up, though? It's Seven Spitting Live in the Basement with the Shy versus Everybody podcast. No, I'm on some new shit, so. For sure. And I'm from Seven Miles, so Seven Spitter. Yeah. Made sense to me. Yeah. Everybody call me Spitter. Might as well put on for the hood, too. Mm, damn, Q. Baby, you did that. What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy, Shy. Shy versus Everybody podcast. Voice of Detroit. Motherfucking podcast MVP in this motherfucker, man. What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy, Shaw. Shaw vs. a Bite Podcast, episode 195. We got, we back on the west side, man. Last yeah. episode, we was east and shit. Now we back <laughs> west, man. See from Seven Mile, you know what I'm saying? Rapper, Seven Spitter. Seven Spitter, what's the deal? Hey, I'm, I'm good, I'm good. But, hey, I love the name. That shit hard. Like, you know what I'm saying? How you come up with uh, Seven Spitter? Well, I always been Spitter. You yeah. know, love that Spitter. Originally, I had a different name yeah. years ago. What was but that? Uh-huh. What was the trash name? No, it's my name. My okay, name. okay, okay. My bad. What my name. <laughs> yeah. You know, I just want to keep that keep that one mm -hmm. to rest. You know, I'm on some new shit, so. For sure. And I'm from Seven Miles, so Seven Spitter yeah. made sense to me. Yeah. Everybody call me Spitter. Might as well put on for the hood too. Now you know that's pressure. Yeah, pressure. You know, when, you, when your name is goddamn Spitter, like that's pressure. Like, they expecting you to spit some shit. Mm -hmm. You feel me? They don't want no, nothing trash. Nothing. You know what I'm saying? You gotta come up. So would you kind of worry about having that name and niggas just automatically just expecting you to be coming out there strong and hard? Um, no, I wasn't too worried Pause. about it. <laughs> Pause, Pause. <laughs> I wasn't too worried about it. Yeah. No, honestly, because I've been rapping for so long. It's mm -hmm. like if you know you, it's a if you know you know type for of sure. thing. Hell yeah. And shit, this is what it is. Yeah. I, I know I'm pressure. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm you coming on there talking crazy every you time. Know the, I know I'm the shit. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> for sure. Now, uh, we start everything off with salute me while I'm here. A lot of times we wait for people to pass away before we give them flowers and shit. You know what I'm saying? Make that long ass Facebook status about how we love him and her. But we, but we couldn't say it when, they, you know what I'm saying, it was still around. But it can't be an easy answer. It can't be your kids. It can't be a relationship. Or it can't be parents. You got somebody you want to go ahead and shoot some love to? Um, I definitely want to uh, shoot some love to my homeboy. Uh, his name Mark. Mm -hmm. He be putting on, you know what I mean, for the hood. He mm -hmm. grind. I'm a very motivational type of dude, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? For sure. Um, I see people like him, it make me want to go harder. You Hell, feel yeah. Me? Hell yeah. When I see that, like I see niggas getting money, you know, grinding for their family, it made me want to do the same thing. Because yeah. like you said, it be something, you know, life short. Yeah, look up, too short. Look up and be gone. Yeah. You know, I done had that happen. You know, back to back recently, so mm -hmm. that kind of actually what made me want to just yeah. do this shit, this rap shit for real. So yeah, yeah, yeah. you look, you sound like a rapper. Like you got some, <laughs> you give me a rapper vibe. Like you know, you got some people say they do music, look, but I don't believe them. But I believe I you. had to mm -hmm. start rapping for real. This shit was damn near mandatory. Mm -hmm. And we're, I, they left me no choice. They yeah. they thought my name meant something else. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> The, the, they thought they thought I was spitter for real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, like, yeah. nah, fuck that. Let me let me bump it to somebody. For sure, hell yeah. Put this music <laughs> out and shit. Now we talked on uh, the off camera and stuff. You a new mom? You know what I'm saying? Little man turned one. Yeah. But I had a big one year old birthday party. You know what I'm saying? But talk about how being a mom changed you. Like if it did, if, oh, if it changed. You. Phew, it that shit changed me drastically. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie to you. If you really, you know, for people that have tuned in with my EP, if you really listen to it, mm -hmm. on one of the songs, I was just talking, just talking about like shit. I gotta change my whole. I had to change my whole life for my son mm -hmm. because what I was into just don't fit the mom vibe. For sure. You know what I'm for saying? Sure, for sure. Like it's time to really get get on some real shit. Either, you know, either I'm gonna get a job or mm -hmm. I'm gonna follow my dreams, I'm gonna do something. Yeah. But I can't put myself in situations that's gonna take me from my son because I am the only parent. Mm -hmm. And I say it proudly, it's not like I'm a you know, some moms be like, Oh, you know, I wish I had the I don't really care that much for that shit because mm -hmm. I know my son gonna be straight. Mm -hmm. He got a good influence, a good role model, yeah. and then I do have my dad. You know, sure. so he got that. He got that father figure. Yeah, yeah. Now I don't wanna be all in business and all that shit. You know, what I'm saying this ain't Vlad and shit like that. But you know, what I'm saying you say I am the parent. Like, you know, what oh, I'm, saying? I'm the only. Like, like, I'm the only parent. What, what, what went wrong? You know, what I mean, as far as you and his father, if you don't want to speak on it, tell I me shut the fuck up. It. I speak on it probably because I, I might as well. That's why I talk about it any other time. Yeah. But um. You know, it ain't even really about me and the, the dad, mm -hmm. per se, you know. It's more so that he don't want to do his part. Yeah. And it ain't that hard. I, I get it. You got other shit going on. For got sure. other kids, other broken households. I understand that. But 
you know, I'm only going to accept so much. Mm -hmm. You know, do something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't really want the bare minimum, but the bare minimum could work. For sure. If you just Hell apply yeah. some pressure behind that shit. Mm -hmm. And that's really, it's just the, you know, he ain't really a good influence, I feel like, for my son. Hopefully, though, he my son won. Well, maybe yeah. one day he might. Yeah, get it man right, get up, together. But until then. Yeah. I, I cut that shit short For sure Yeah yeah Well it's good you cut it short early And said yeah, way too late then. You know what I'm saying Cause a lot of motherfuckers We talked about that shit On the episode previously Like you, you wait too long To get out of a fucked up situation That could be a relationship That mm -hmm. could be a job That could be anything You know what I'm saying So it's good that you got that shit Out the way right now so. Yeah I ain't, I ain't gonna lie to you I ain't got patience Shit I, I can't keep a job <laughs> like, I can't I ain't about to waste no time On no nigga I'm, just, sure. I'm gonna keep it pushing For sure And um yeah, shout out to that nigga. Worst father of the year award. Goddamn. <laughs> Goddamn. Yeah, shout anyway. out to you, cuz. Shout out to you, bitch. Shout out bro. to Craig. <laughs> <laughs> and that's that how we that's how we talk shit about a father and shit. I wound up being in the same uh area with that nigga. Then you know I was right there. Like <laughs> a girl did a whole episode talking shit about her dad. Next thing you know, my home girl, that's her uncle and shit. And you know what I'm saying? And we were right there It's crazy we even just brought up dad. Like, so I have a father. Mm -hmm. I have I have a stepfather who's been in my life since I was born, mm -hmm. and I have a biological father who I met at fourteen. Okay. And the reason why I, I think I, I am with my sons, I don't really press it too much, is because mm -hmm. I feel like he gonna have his own percent, like his own idea. Yeah, how, whoever you is, yeah, yeah. I don't have to put nothing in his head. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So like me, my mom never told me, "Oh, yo, dad, a deadbeat. He mm -hmm. don't help him." You know. When I met him, you know, yeah. cool, you a cool nigga. Yeah, for sure. You feel me? You a cool nigga. You just not the nigga that was there. I mean, you missed out on a lot. A lot. But that's that person for yeah. that mind. So. Yeah. How how you and your uh, your pops did y'all work your relationship out y'all y'all talking now y'all cool yeah like, me and my um my father we good he live in Maryland okay. uh, shout out to everybody in Maryland in Baltimore I got people that fuck with me out there for sure um we got a good relationship mm -hmm. I mean it's it's for him I would say it's kind of hard because it's like damn he you know that guilt mm -hmm. like you missed out on your only daughter life mm -hmm. for real. Yeah. And you try to get them years back, but it'd be too late. Yeah. I already made my mind up. You can't <laughs> sure. tell me now, oh, don't be in the streets and don't do that. Yeah. Too late. I'm, that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. You know? But Do you, not looking back, do you under, do you kind of understand, like, why he might have been absent? Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. Yeah. It ain't no excuse. Yeah, 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 it wasn't yeah. no excuse. It's just like with me, my child. I'm not pushing nobody away. You mm -hmm. can come around if you, if you come correct. My father, I feel like, and to be real with y'all, the only reason I even really know my real father mm -hmm. is because they were trying to put him on child support. Okay. He was trying to get off of that. Yeah, so yeah, he yeah. found the way to get in touch with me. But you see how you got in touch with me? It was, it was easy. It was easy. You, you could have been there. But no, I, I don't have no bad blood against my dad, though. I love him, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, I just wish we would have. it would have been better. I wish he would have been a more a part of my childhood. For Maybe sure. a certain things I could have learned young mm -hmm. that I could have picked up on. But now I'm a grown-ass woman. It's, you can't tell me what I I can't, can't do no for sure hell yeah hell yeah last thing i'm gonna ask you about your, your son what's something that you want to be different with him growing up compared to how you was um i just don't want him to be in the, be in the streets i don't want him to shit, i want him to be way better than me mm -hmm. um i do want him to pick up like my um some characteristics like i'm a little talented you know what i'm mm -hmm. saying mm -hmm. i write you know yeah. i want him to have that but i want him to Follow his own dreams as mm. well. So whatever he do, as long as it's not going to put him in the box or in the cell, I'm with it. For sure. Yeah. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Shout out to the new moms and new parents. Just shout out there, man. You know what I'm saying? If, you, hey, if you're a dad not around, man, come around, dog. Stop fucking around. Stop <laughs> right, bullshit with yourself real. and shit. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, you just put out an um, EP a couple of days ago. Yeah. But just talk about this year. Like, what did you see for this year musically and personally? Like, how you wanted to come into 2024? All right. This is the really shit. I ain't never think I was about to be fucking with the music because mm -hmm. I had been doing it for so long. I've mm -hmm. been rapping since I was, what, maybe like 13. Well, I say recording in the studio since I was 13. Mm -hmm. I did shows. I performed at St. Andrews every weekend. Mm -hmm. People knew me yeah. from rapping. For sure. Um, I ain't gonna lie. What changed it was my cousin got killed. Mm -hmm. That hit me hard. Mm -hmm. Um, But I, it was like with my cousin death, it was more so like, I'm just grateful that I had the time to spend with you for sure. because he lived by the gun. He died by the gun. Mm -hmm. But what made me really want to just put my foot on these bitches' necks <laughs> was when my homeboy got killed. He got killed by the police. Um, mm -hmm. I think that was back in December, right before his birthday, and he did music. Yeah. And he was hard, and he was putting on for the seven. So I just felt like, shit, I might as well just continue on. Just continue and just do something that I want to do because, like I said, life's short. 
Mm-hmm. And um, I feel like he could have made it. You yeah, know what I mean? For sure. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Rest in peace, Mary Baby. Yeah, yeah, rest in peace. And life is definitely too short to not even just try. Yeah, you know, a lot of niggas not. talk shit, but don't ever put in no action. Yeah. So like I said, man, you if you if you got you know what I'm saying lungs, air air to breathe and make that shit happen. You know what I'm saying? Now we always talk about money. I thought about this shit. I think about a lot of shit when I'm in the bathroom. You know, taking a shit or washing up or something like that. Randomly. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> but what what brings happiness to you outside of money and like of course your kid? Like what brings happiness for you? Because a lot of niggas be happy because they got money and shit like that. But like at the end of the day, it's a piece of paper. But what bring happiness for you? Shit. I done had money. Mm. I done been up. Mm. I done been down. Mm. Down bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Down bad. But just being able to, knowing that you can still try, you got another day, that bring me happiness. Mm -hmm. You know, knowing like, okay, well, I wasn't able to figure this shit out this way, or this might have, you know, fucked up, or I might not have had it then, but you know what, if I come up with another plan, I could do it this way. I could, you know, maneuver around the shit for mm -hmm. real, but, um, shit, just knowing that shit, I'm here. Yeah. That, that's what bring me happiness. <laughs> no, for sure. Hell a lot yeah. of motherfuckers ain't here, and a lot of shit that I was into, you know what I'm saying? Could have I couldn't I could have just not been here. Yeah. You know, I done been in life and death situations before. Yeah. I done been in situations that could have really changed a lot of shit. Mm -hmm. You know, so Hell yeah. blessed. Hell yeah. yeah, for sure, for sure. And with you know what I'm saying, you going through, you know, saying death and loss and you know what I'm saying you talk about your father and stuff like that, like when your shit getting hard for you, like you got people you can go ahead and talk to and chop it up with to get your head right? Um Alright. So it's like this. Right now, I'm kind of more so to myself. Mm. I feel like, um, like, uh, you know, shout out Zay Blase. When I'm at the studio with him, five o'clock in the morning, he's finishing up a session. I just jump up, put put this put this beat on. I ain't right to this bitch, but yeah. I got something to say. I can vent. Yeah. I can talk to the I can talk to the microphone, vent to the microphone. You feel me? Yeah. But um, I I do be feeling like I'm alone sometimes because I don't really. I got talk. I got one sister, mm. one blood biological sister. Mm. Um. We nine years apart, so we not that close. Yeah. You know, we close, but it's just like some topics I don't really, you know. Mm. Uh, I, I did have a person I could talk to that was my cousin. Yeah. I used to talk to him every day. For sure. You know, um, he really helped me with my pregnancy and shit. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I ain't know how I was doing. I'm like, damn, I'm a mom of this yeah. shit. I'm about to be a parent. Yeah, yeah, you know, he sure. really helped me out. And I still could talk to him. Um, so... It, it really just be, I just stay to myself for mm -hmm. real. It ain't really too many people you could talk to. And last time I just been into a bitch, she, yeah, you know, tell, yeah, yeah. tell all your business or throw yeah, shit up you in your face. You definitely got to be careful who you talking yeah. to, for sure. I learned my lesson on that one. Yeah. What's something that you need to work on that might be holding you back? Um, Just applying myself. Mm -hmm. You know, I be having like, um, you know, you be self-conscious mm -hmm. type shit. Like, oh, I'm kind of nervous or I don't know what they going to think about me. Or what if they say this? I don't give a fuck no more. <laughs> yeah, for Cause sure. Because I, I can say, I be having a lot to say about a lot of motherfuckers. So I really just be like, it don't even matter to me right. type shit. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I just be, you know, just yeah. grinding. Yeah. And the last thing I'm going to ask you, what's something that you learned about yourself that you didn't know that you was capable of doing? Um, shit. I don't know. I, I, I mean, I just try. Whatever you think, I don't think I can do. I try to do it. Mm -hmm. You know, and yeah. you feel me. I yeah. never. I ain't gonna lie. This is my first project I put out. Like my first project. Yeah. You know, back then I dropped a little song here and there, but mm -hmm. like I never thought I would do this. I never yeah. thought I'd actually push myself to want to be in the room. You know, with you and do yeah. it, you know on the For podcast. Sure. But you know. this your first podcast? Yeah. Oh, she about to blow up. <laughs> <laughs> it's on. You about to blow up? Yeah, yeah it's the best. <laughs> hey, after this you gonna be like, oh, see, that shit was trash. <laughs> <laughs> now I know you from seven. What seven? Seem a little thuggish. <laughs> when, I am not that. I am not thug the fuck out. Yeah. <laughs> when the last time you cried, it didn't have nothing to do with death. Um. Yeah. Last time I cried, it ain't had nothing to do with death. Yep. Damn. I know you's gonna. You know, what I'm saying that's the that's. The... I mean, yeah, no, I, life hard for me. Mm -hmm. Shit. I'm trying to get this shit out the mud. Mm -hmm. It's just me. I'm, I jumped off the porch so young. I wanted to be grown so motherfucking bad. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, I'm just going to get me a crib. Man. I don't yeah. want to stay with my mama no more. I'm about to go move to North Carolina. Yeah. I did all type of shit. I cried yeah. a couple weeks ago. So I'm like, God damn. Did anybody <laughs> give me a blueprint, no book to this shit? Hell no. I just got to figure this shit out. Yeah. But figuring this life shit out is hard. No, it is. It's it fucked. And when my son cried. 
At me, I'm crying back there. I'm <laughs> fucking yeah. tired of life this will, shit. Life will break your ass down. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> break you the fuck down. Now, why you want to be so grown so young? You know what I'm saying? You, you, um, you, 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 I grew everybody. I I was the I'm the baby of the family. Really? Like um, well, you know, this baby's not, but I was the baby. Mm -hmm. Everybody was ten plus years older than me, or nine plus years older than me. So I wanted to grow up, and I I was kind of exposed to a lot of different things young because. That's who I was around, like older cousin, mm -hmm. sister, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, I just wanted to, you know, I felt like I did what I had to do. My mama said, go graduate, get your high school diploma, mm -hmm. you know, do that. I did what she asked me to do. She wanted me to go to college. My like, baby, you pushing it. I don't know about that. I'm, <laughs> But no, like I wanted to go to college, but I do. Like I'm a perfectionist, so like I always wanted to have good grades. I ain't mm -hmm. never been a failure. I ain't never kept brought home F's and none of that yeah. shit. So my mama, low key, she wanted me to go, but she like, nah, this bitch be on suicide watch. I'm straight. <laughs> yeah, sure. She like, no, nope, you ain't about to be calling me stressed out talking about I can't, I can't get the, the grades right. Yeah, uh, fuck that shit. For but. sure, hell yeah, hell yeah. So you say you trying to grow up early, you youngest, so you know what I'm saying, trying to get by there, huh? Mm -hmm. I'm only 25. Yeah. You know? Oh, you, I'm, I'm surprised. Yeah. I was gonna ask you ask because nigga be like, I don't know what no, I'm about. 25. Mm -hmm. 25, yeah. But Damn, long, I've been really doing, I jumped off the porch at what, 17? Yeah, I ain't been 25 in a long time. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I missed 25. See, my son about to be 18. Fuck. Hey. <laughs> I know <laughs> what Kevin Hart saying. He's like, damn. Hell yeah. Oh, nigga. You talking about your first birthday? Like, God damn. My son's first birthday was 18 years ago. Right. <laughs> I got I got two other ones too. My little baby girl shit. But uh, what um, your worst advice and best advice you received? It could be music. It could be motherhood. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Hmm. Like, what's the some good advice you worst always remember? Worst advice I ever received. This is why it's so hard for me to date niggas now. Mm -hmm. Because I. You know, you grow up, you watch, you kind of like, you, when you young, you soak everything in, you like mm -hmm. a sponge. Mm -hmm. So growing up, I always watch females, I'm not going to say my mama, she been happily married for 25 years. Her mm -hmm. anniversary uh, was just on the 18th oh, of shit. March, Shout so happy, happy anniversary, mom and yeah, dad, yeah. I love y'all. But um, the worst advice was just, oh, you love him, stay, or give him another chance. Mm -hmm. I was with a nigga for six years, and I won't really speak on our relationship because it's a lot, but... I mean, I only stayed because that's what I thought I was supposed to do. Exactly. That was like the worst advice ever. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was some good. It was a good six years, but that still was like the worst advice yeah. ever because we, I, we like we hurt each other in a way where it's like I'm holding on to you, you mm -hmm. holding on to me. We yeah. really need to just let each that, other go. Yeah. And that's, that'd be a hard part though. And maybe the best advice I ever received, probably from my sister, she always tell me, you just got to do that shit. Yeah. You just got to just, just grind. Just do that shit. Whatever it is. Whatever you want to do, just do it. Mm -hmm. So that's probably my sister. She definitely like my biggest supporter for yeah. sure. For sure. Hell yeah. If you had to tell somebody about yourself, but that you can use a song or an album, what song or album is going to be? It's going to tell me about you without you even saying the motherfucking word. Damn. You should have asked me this question <laughs> last night. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> but um some shit that would describe me mm -hmm. i really want to just say pressure pack that's my shit you feel me yeah. i i mean that ain't nothing mm -hmm. that's a, like a hard question yeah it is a song or i i can't really think of one mm -hmm. um i say dope boys cash out grind and shine yeah, yeah. i say that yeah. I definitely got to grind to shine. My man's looking for that like a bag. He like, we got one in the car though. Yeah, yeah I do got one in the oh, car. Oh, her, her, her producer where if y'all see him on camera, he he rolled the blunt up and they had no lighter. Bad when you looking at it. He looked like what the fuck? He don't look like. I ain't wanna hit it. <laughs> yeah, he looked around like, hold on, like, what kind of fucking light this bitch? <laughs> he about to go ask Granddad for the uh, for the stove and shit. Like, hey man, I got the stove, I got gas and electric. Yeah. It don't matter. Hell I yeah. make it work. Oh yeah, man. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, what's the album for you that you like? That kind of like your introduction to rap. I say it because Juvenile just dropped 400 Degrees again. Man, you know what I'm saying? That was like my. I, it was my introduction to rap, but that was like the album that made me want to go wish ahead. I my sister was here because her, she loved her, she, her era. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I wish I was born in 1989 yeah. with my sister. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? That's her shit right there. Yeah, yeah. So that album right there made me want to listen to all type of rap. That was like my first album that I really like Y'all want me like to listen. be real with y'all though? What up? Motherfucking um oh boy, I ain't playing no games. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh boy. Sure. Yeah. I grew up around all niggas and one female, my sister thugged the fuck out. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, 
that whole that that's what made me start rapping i used to be around walking around the house my little cheetah pants my little cheetah vest Mm -hmm. with my little microphone rapping oh boy like now you grow up growing up around all these dudes and being hard is it tough for you to even get love like damn she too tough like she too hard i ain't gonna lie i had a nigga tell me like damn you you too gangster like how (laughs) I'm i'm a woman still like that's the thing though like it was always easier for me to be to have like this hard shell. It's mm-hmm. easier to have a hard shell than to be soft. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But once a nigga know you soft, he like, all right, got this bitch. She, <laughs> she look, she look, yeah. Like I am hard, but I am a woman still. I still have that very feminine side. I still have my moments where I want to be loved on. Mm-hmm. But it do be kind of hard because I'm gonna talk to a nigga like he's a sure. female. For sure, hell yeah, hell yeah. Now you uh growing up a little bit, you had mentioned that your mom been married for 25 years, mm-hmm. so your stepdad. How long did it take for you to accept him as your stepdad? Like, not just be like one of those girls. Right. You ain't my dad, motherfucker. So, like. this all the funny shit I be talking about. I thought the nigga was my real daddy. Yeah. I thought he was my, like, father. Like, mm. until my mama was mad at him one day. <laughs> and he was like, i take my daughter and leave. She like, that ain't your motherfucking daughter. That's my daughter. I was, like, soaking it all in. Like, <laughs> what like, the what? fuck? <laughs> Hold on, wait a minute. But that's how I found out. But it never, I never looked at him no different. Like my, I ain't gonna lie to you. My dad, like my stepfather, mm-hmm. never missed a beat. Mm-hmm. Never missed a, a first walk. Never missed a teach me how to ride the bike. A, a picture day. A graduation. I mean, he even did my gender reveal for yeah. me, with me when I had my baby. Like he never missed a beat, and he treated yeah. my son like that's his son. That's how I supposed to be. <laughs> that's how I supposed. To, that's dope as hell. Shout out to the motherfucking stepdads out here. Shit. Yeah, you know, the ladies, don't stay with that nigga because you wanna. The fuck the fuck the family. Go get a new family. Go <laughs> get a new one. Hell no. I got a nigga right now trying to be a step daddy. Like, no. <laughs> I know, I know. Especially when they listen to that song P word. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. I let my producer listen to P word before you came. Like, she yeah. going, she's going like, crazy. Damn. <laughs> You do what? Oh, that nigga tripping. Hell no, hell no, hell no. Now you say you've been doing music since you was thirteen. Yeah. But at what point did music come? Like, like, ser- like you for real? Like, all right, this is what I'm gonna do. This is for real. It's real life because everything be a hobby. And you don't, you know, what I'm saying take shit serious until it get to a certain point. When I met Zay Blase, mm-hmm. that was this year. Yeah. And we did that that taping. How like what two weeks? About a little bit. About two and a half, three weeks. Yeah. So when I met him, that's when I'm like, fuck this shit. I'm like, I'm so tired. I got a song called Nine to Five, the first song on that bitch. I say, wake up this morning, what I'm gonna do today? I don't know, but I gotta make an yeah. I already see myself getting the other way. Yeah. I try to work a nine to five, but I can never I can't never keep a motherfucking job. What's long no, you kept a job? Eight months. <laughs> yeah, not even you ain't make a year mark, huh? I tried. You didn't get the little pen to like it. Motherfuckers caught on to me, man. Ain't somebody was stealing time. Yeah. I was I was borrowing it. I was gonna give it back. <laughs> and that bitch <laughs> punching in like, where she at? <laughs> Where's this bitch at? <laughs> nah, for real. This one made me out this year like made me wanna really like fuck it. You know, yeah. I'm twenty five. Let me just see. I know I'm I'm talented and then we gotta talk about how the females really taking over like with the rap shit and for real. Was, I, I swear that was my next question. Like what's your thoughts about the ladies in general? Like, I ain't gonna lie, these hoes is hard. Yeah. This <laughs> This bitch is hard. Yeah, for sure. They got like, I, and I feel like, you know, back in the day, it was like, oh, it was just a Kim, or right? for yeah, years, it. it was just Nikki, or yes. it might have been just Trina. You know what I'm saying? For a little mm-hmm. second. Now it's like, we can do a 50 50 split around this bitch. No, for sure. For sure. They making noise like a motherfucker. How you feel about the city, the girls in the city? These bitches is going hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's uh, one girl, particularly, I, I can't, she always posting, but she hard. Her name, um, Costa Rica. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Costa, she been on the show, yeah, for she, sure. she hard. For sure, I fuck with her. She and cool, her yeah. work ethic is crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm wiping you on this bitch Instagram, like, nah, I gotta do it. I gotta yeah, go yeah. hard, too. She said clothes in this moment. Yeah, like, this bitch got what? The what? Who I'm going on? Yeah, yeah. Teach me the sauce real quick. I fuck with, uh, I fuck with Kayla Wan, too. Okay. Kayla Wan hard. Like, she got her delivery, her flow is hard as hell. Um, I ain't gonna lie. I'm just like really starting. Like I be so boxed in to myself. It's I'm really and I and I do listen to a lot of niggas like mm-hmm. in general. But I'm just not starting to you know bump it to more females that do uh, music. Like this one girl, I think her name. I don't want to make no mistakes, but I think it's like Nina Blanco. Okay, yeah, her. She her. hard. Yeah, 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 she yeah, hard. Yeah, I met her at the studio. She hard. But just shit like that. Like it's females out here and. You know, and I won't speak on the bitches that I have reached out to. Oh, you also had uh, one, the one girl on your uh, podcast, exactly. too. Uh, I think her name Honey. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah she yeah, hard. Yeah, 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 she hard. Yeah, yeah, she, she showed me love. I show her love, too. But it's just like, to the, to the rap bitches, to the you rap bitches that want to be the top rap bitch, mm-hmm. let it go. Just, you hard, my, you hard, my baby. You know, you... 
we we gotta en- embrace one another mm-hmm. because that's why it's always only been had been Nicki Minaj for so long, yeah, this it. bitch for so yeah. long. Like we trying to get where the how the niggas move. Sure. I yeah. mean, these niggas do be beefing, but we ain't gotta <laughs> yeah. do that. We ain't gotta do that. And Hell I, yeah. but you know, to the bitches that ain't wanna fuck with me, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> and to the here. bitches that fuck with me, I fuck with y'all. Yeah, fuck them. <laughs> yeah, fuck y'all hoes. <laughs> I'm gonna pass y'all bitches up anyway. <laughs> hell yeah, hell yeah, for real, for real. <laughs> now, um, would you, you know what I'm saying, your first time in the studio, talk about that, like how good or bad was it? Like, cause My lot- very first time? Yeah. It was fun as hell. I yeah. was 13 in the studio with niggas that was 30. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so these niggas talking sh- like gangster street shit, and I'm on the same type of time. Yeah. Um, Man, like, that was really a good, like, I'll never forget when my mama here, and she's just looking at me like... <laughs> Hey, bitch, go get your shit ready. You got school in the morning. How about that? Like, no. but I was 13, 14, really. Like, how I am now, I be in the studio with Zay. I'm mm. in that bitch to like 2, 3 in the morning, 6 mm. in the morning. Sometimes we pulling, we pulling shifts in that bitch for real, mm. trying to get the job done. Yeah, yeah. But I was doing that at 13, 14, so it ain't really nothing to me. Like, I will sit in the studio yeah. and work. It don't be no problem. What was, the, what was that gap in between? What, what, what was the gap, you know, saying, what for music? What was the reason? All right, so I will say. Um, so I used to drop little songs here and there, mm-hmm. but I don't really speak about that because I don't be one motherfuckers to go try to find that shit. Even yeah. though it's not bad, it's just not me. No I was searching. I, <laughs> I find it. Hey, I, w- I was looking hard. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> yeah, I dropped that old name. You gonna find everything. <laughs> <laughs> but no, nah, um, I ain't gonna lie. Being mainly, I was in a relationship, so I had to try to be respectful to that too. You know, that's why I can't really speak on that. I don't want to make it sound bad, like, with my ex or nothing. Because my ex-boyfriend did teach me a lot, especially with hustling. Like, a lot of people would think I learned how to hustle and I got that street shit from being from my family. Which, like, yeah, I kind of, like, grew up around that. But Mm -hmm. that ain't how I got into it. I got into it from my ex. My ex was telling me, like, better get up off your ass. What you going to do? Like, you know, make some money. But um, I would say more so that. Mm. And then after our relationship, because um, it was like my whole life changed. I had went through a lot of different shit. I had kind of like just, I just wanted to live my life and just be happy for a minute. Like, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. I had gotten to a real bad, and I've been in a lot of fucked up car accidents, but I had gotten to a real bad accident, mm. um, flipped over five times. God and damn. shit, I ain't gonna lie. I was just going through a life, a change, going through a breakup, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, shit, yeah. I just wasn't thinking too much about it. Yeah. I did try to work with a nigga, and I won't say his name because he said some whole ass shit. I should say his name, but you see, Bitches like me is the reason why you niggas should be thankful that I don't name drop around here. Yeah, sure, yeah. But no, nah, for real, it was a nigga I was working with. Nigga, I'll tell another bitch, like, oh, I ain't had no work at the girl. I wasn't trying to work. Zay, I ever had a problem with working? I try to work too much. <laughs> Fuck is you talking about? Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah, yeah. try to put that work in. Come on. Now. Hell no. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Now, uh, the 24th, you drop pressure pack. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 24th for this month. Uh, was you nervous about dropping it? This is your first EP. Hell yeah. yeah! Every time I ate an edible, I'm high as fuck, and that bitch like they're not gonna <laughs> like this. <laughs> Somebody's gonna say something, yeah. you know. But like it just be me being in my head, and I'm happy that I just, you know, it was so many times I wanted to text Zay like I don't know, yeah. I don't know if we should do this. Yeah, yeah, like you know what I'm saying. Yeah. But I'm happy. So you just worry about how you know people's your perception is gonna, yeah, gonna be. Yeah, but I they... told you uh, that's always been what's holding me back. It's like damn, what the next person gonna think, or mm-hmm. you know, oh, what if my shit ain't. You know, ain't yeah. that for real, but yeah, nah, yeah. it's that. Nah, it's too, it's, that. it's too early, huh? It's definitely that. Oh, now, it's too early to tell, but, like, what have been a response for the take from people that's close to you? People fuck with it. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. People fuck with it. And some people even surprise me. Like, they might, like, uh, randomly text me. They listening to one of my songs and shit. Mm-hmm. Um, people reactions. Like, in the, in the process of doing it, you know, uh, he had sent me the pre-mix or whatever. And so, you know, he put the little, the little... What do we call it? The sauce on that bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Put the sauce on that bitch. <laughs> but um, yeah. Um, people responses was surprised. Like people were surprised. Like I really had this one guy. Shout out to uh, my nigga P. Bless Gang P. He uh was even like, damn. Like mm-hmm. I always knew you could rap, but like I like I'm surprised. Like yeah. this shit, this shit yeah. hard. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so yeah. I, they reactions was like that's what I mean when I say you be two in your head because if everybody around you telling you that shit hard, but mm-hmm. you in the back of your head like it's not it. Yeah, like, yeah. that's the mind. Cause thing. you can't give a fuck. You just gotta do that shit. Like, Hell yeah! It, it might be some shit that niggas don't like, but nigga, it might be some shit that niggas gonna like at the same time. You know what I'm saying? So fuck it, just I drop don't that care. shit. <laughs> <laughs> now, was you supposed to put this this uh, project out earlier? No, or uh, just- we just like once we knew that bitch was done, mm-hmm. we like yes, yeah, it's, it's just we just get the main thing was just really trying to get more so the cover art done or mm-hmm. whatever. But we don't even we not even going. 
talk about that shit, but <laughs> yeah, we just gonna bypass that part. But uh, <laughs> the main part was that. But once we once I knew that bitch was done, I mm-hmm. mean, we just got tired of listening to it on the files. Mm-hmm. It feels so good to just press next and yeah. the next song come on because I'm so, playing that bitch in order the way that I know it's gonna get yeah, uploaded. Like, cause yeah. I want to hear it that way. Yeah, that's dope. That's dope. It's good that you got some. Some good feedback as far as mm-hmm. your music. I remember the first time I dropped some nigga actually left a voicemail and said how trash my shit was. Mm. <laughs> nigga left a voicemail like that. Cause back, <laughs> <laughs> this back in the day, it's like so when I first started rapping, I was doing it just cause my my boy wanted me to do it with him. So and I was, how old are you, your mom? Yeah, I'm old as fuck. I'm 37. Okay. Old ass nigga. Young shit, so. tender wrong. Yeah. <laughs> so this uh this like in 2005 six, I put uh did my little CDs. I dro- I write my email and phone number on there. I go to St. Andrews to the club and pass them out. I'm sleeping. That's to my son, mom, wake up, voicemail, like, nigga, this shit trash. <laughs> nigga, don't fucking do music no more, nigga. I'm, oh. like, I'm like, damn, nigga. That shit would have crushed me. <laughs> like, that shit is bad. 10 o'clock in the morning. Like, that nigga had you on his mind that he called you and left a voicemail, nigga, at night. Like, he just was hating. That nigga knew that shit was that. And it wasn't, it, was, it probably wasn't that good. It got better as I got older, like, once I started, like, really living life and start. Because I was trying to rap like he was rapping about shit that I didn't know nothing about. Mm-hmm. So once I started rapping about real life shit, it got better. Okay, you know what I'm saying. But yeah. back then I was just trying to just match what they was talking about. See, I'm kind of like with my tape, it's like it's like a fifty fifty split. Like mm-hmm. I, you know, it's more so like I talk about the real life and all that shit, the real shit. You feel me? But I, with the music, like I'm I'm called. You feel me? But I want to have like I just want to have fun. Like sure. I just want to have fun, make good music, like mm-hmm. tight music. You know, some shit I might want to let my soul bleed on, but. Mm-hmm. No, I, I want to be happy. I I feel like I can't put myself in that space where all I rap about is like shit that I'm going through. Like mm-hmm. it's just it can become overwhelming. Yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. Hell, because niggas be all here. She come with that, you know. Say, cause you some know how be, like you know come. how motherfuckers like be like, damn, this nigga ride wave. Yeah, like, the press and come shit. on. You ever <laughs> wanted to die? No, I never wanted to die. Hell, like, yeah, what the, the fuck? The kids be loving that shit too. I'm like, damn, y'all okay? Or but, even young boy, like I fuck with young boy, but my nigga. I like when my, my son put me hip to him. I like when he first started. Like, me I don't too. Even really fuck I like right when was he 30, was 30, 30, 32, maybe some shit. Yeah, it was yeah, like the back then, it was straight. Like, but he kind of like coming, like, all right, I'm good. On you, he lost that. me. Yeah, for after sure. After a while. How do you plan on promoting the uh the tape more? Are you trying to do more interviews, shoot videos? Like, what you um, trying to do? Interviews, videos. Um, I really just need my people to fuck with me. Yeah. You feel me? Like, like it be like this. So sometimes the people closest to you be the ones that won't support you. Mm-hmm. And you know, I don't feel like it be intentional. I just feel like it be like. I know her. I know she did it. Do something. Yeah, I don't have sure. to. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But shit like that, you gotta keep stuff like that in the back of your head because bitch, don't think I know you ain't never press play on that motherfucking <laughs> tape. But it, it ain't shit though. Yeah. I just know like if you weren't rocking with me from the beginning, then it, yeah. you know what I'm saying. But um, I don't know. I'm I'm new to this whole like really putting out a project mm-hmm. shit. So I'm just trying to figure out whichever route to go. Like okay, like boom, I'm here. Mm-hmm. So this is step towards maybe another podcast. Yeah. Have you, you been reaching out to any other podcasts? Hell no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, you you reached out to the right one for yeah, your first cause one. Cause it was like shit. I had you popped in the back of my head, and then I be seeing you when I be watching. I'm like, yeah, let me go hit this nigga up real man, quick. Man. Some people be real bougie though. Yeah. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna respond to everybody now. If I don't reply back, that means I wasn't real. <laughs> Cause when I heard the tape, I was at work like, all right, me go ahead. And I see you had put it out. Let me go ahead and listen. I'm like, oh, she she talk some shit. Yeah. And speaking of, give me your top four tracks on there. Uh, mine's be uh, my time, P word, nine to five, and get uh, get into it right. Okay, yeah, mine's would be uh, in this order. I would say lick. I love lick. I just like how it came on that bitch talking crazy. Mm-hmm. I love lick. Um, P word, my time, and I would say maybe nine to five. Yeah, hell yeah. Now some of these bars, you was talking kind of crazy, but on my time, you said uh, got my heart broke once. Now I can't love niggas. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be hard for you to get into another relationship with a nigga, like for you to trust a nigga. Yeah, I've been single for about four years now. Yeah. Even though I have a baby, you know, uh, he about to be one. Um, I wasn't in a relationship with his dad, so. Mm-hmm. But it will be hard because it's like it's a trust thing. Like I just feel like these niggas, basically, what I've ran into when mm-hmm. I have tried to like pursue a nigga, it be like it's just it just remind me too much of like the same shit gonna keep mm-hmm. happening, and I ain't going for the same shit. Yeah, man, my heart is like. I'm trying to defrost that bitch. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really work. <laughs> Ice box. <laughs> Hell yeah, what was that? Amari on song. <laughs> the one on one. What separates you from others? Um, 
I'm just hard on myself. I don't really give a fuck about what nobody think as far as like what I have to say. Yeah. Um, I'm just myself. Like some people really be trying to obtain like a certain image. I can't do that. Mm. And sometimes I'm just gonna say the most random shit too. Yeah. So I'm very outspoken. Like I don't give a fuck. Like I might just be in the studio one day. Like, hey Zay, man. I'm so tired of running to these little dick ass niggas. Cause one day, like, it just be random. Like, I'm not thinking about the fact that he don't want to hear that shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I'm real outspoken. Yeah. You know? And I'm multi talented mm-hmm. at the same time. Like, this music shit gonna work. Yeah. But if it don't work, you know, we'll have a cooking show or something. We gonna see. <laughs> and speaking of cooking, <laughs> on on get, get right into it. You said cook, clean, and, and I fuck, fuck good. good. T- talk about that, like nigga, those three those three things that's important to a man life. Know, that's because <laughs> niggas love that. Yeah. Nigga, every time you make him know he fucked up, first thing he says, I just missed it. You know, I mean, I really could get into it though, right? I I got niggas on a nigga on recording. I just, man, you know, you cook the good meals, you know what I'm saying? Always house stay clean. Yeah. No, fuck. Ma- yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually, when I had, uh, Zay, Zay sent me the beat, it took, like, it took me a minute to kind of come up with a concept. Like, what the fuck is this giving? Like, it was just giving, like, city girl vibes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever. I just sent them the first verse. That nigga replied back and said, what you saying on this? <laughs> Oh my God! Yeah. Like I cook clean and I fuck good. Yeah, yeah. What's your go-to meal for a nigga to stay? My go-to meal. What's your go-to meal? Like he, he, oh, Craig coming over. You want to cook him something real good? Shit. Like mm. what's, your, what's that shit? You, what you cooking? I'm gonna hit a nigga with the soul food. Yeah. I'm gonna hit him with it with the grandma meal. For sure. What like you sure. talking about? I'm coming in that bitch. Well, well, hey boo, come over. What you doing? I ain't doing that. Okay, nothing about to cook some yams, macaroni and cheese, green potato salad, uh, barbecue chicken, barbecue ribs. Oh, she, nigga be like, God damn. Oh, so you doing like that? I yeah. be, be coming that. That's, that's, that's some real grandma. This is why niggas always think I got niggas because I'm always cooking like I'm cooking for a nigga, but I really be just cooking and yeah. then I just hit somebody up like, Zay, you want to play? He definitely want to play. Zay, she, she can cook Zay up. Be honest. Okay. I ain't said it loud enough. Man. No, that's what's up. You need that shit though. And the cleanest shit. Cause me me and um shout out to uh comedian Coco. She was saying like a woman bathroom in the kitchen gotta be clean. Man, let me tell you, before you finish, I always say that shit. Mm. I be telling niggas you what? No, you know, bitch, check her bathroom or kitchen. You catch hepatitis in yeah. the area. But you gotta check like that bottom of that the bottom. My mama, uh, not the toilet. Head. Yo, yo, he know the toilet. My mama don't play that Most shit. Old piss it was that. crazy. I didn't grow up having chores. I just knew once I got my own shit, it would not be nasty. Yeah. You can come over to my house any time of the day, literally, and then my house is gonna man, be clean. That's important, man. Shout out to my uh, my, my wife's cousin. I went to this nigga bathroom one day. I think I was the guy. I ain't wash my hands, nigga. I'm at. <laughs> like dog, that shit bathroom was atrocious, dog. Man. Like, I mean, what the? How do you even, nigga? You got kids in this As bed. a woman too, you gotta think. <laughs> men have penises, so y'all just whip y'all shit out real quick. I'm a woman. I gotta oh, spread that. Um, I don't want nothing crawling, getting up in there. Yeah. No bacteria, no Man, germs. I went back in the living room to my wife. Like, yeah, don't don't piss in there. <laughs> just hold that motherfucker, dog. <laughs> I literally will walk in your bathroom if it's nasty. No disrespect, I'm gonna walk right up out that bitch. Sometimes if you if you we both know your house nasty, or your bathroom nasty, I'm not even going in there. Yeah. I'm gonna hold that piss all the way till I get home, no matter how far home is. Yeah, man. I piss outside. Hell yeah. Squat like a Rottweiler. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> out there, just like. <laughs> no, you had to for sure. Motherfucker be dirty, man. Yeah. Now you had to say block a nigga number. He keep calling. What's the, what's the wildest shit a nigga did to keep you from leaving? Broke in my house. Damn. What the fuck. Oh, oh, we can really get into it, man. Yeah. But yeah, nigga broke in my house. Nigga call your phone, stalk you, yeah. chase you. <laughs> he said chase. Oh, that nigga chased me from my house to my sister house. Nigga, we live thirty five minutes away from each other. Man, then nigga didn't want to let me out the car. Tried to box me in. How fuck gonna box me in with one car? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck are you, man? Yeah, you doing you, you doing some shit on that? Man, I'm a nigga. good woman. <laughs> you know something though Niggas Niggas uh, The really shit a nigga ever told me Was like I fuck with you You a good ass woman You know you got your hair right But I can't fuck with you mm-hmm. Cause I ain't shit Yeah you like I don't wanna break your heart Yeah That was some real shit But I still fuck with him I got some cool shit to this day But like He be trying to fuck with me I be like nigga I ain't forget that shit you said <laughs> You ain't shit I ain't yeah. about to go here Yeah 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 So you got niggas Just going crazy over your ass huh I wouldn't say that Shit blocking you in Chasing you Like that's I, I been never... through some things Yeah and you know what? It's a nigga. I'm now. Nah, I'm gonna say something to this hoe ass nigga, cause I know he gonna be watching. G, 
You a hoe ass Damn. nigga. Let me tell you why you a hoe ass nigga. Damn. Nigga, Damn. I, I was fucking with you hard, heavy. Like, you got kids, everything, before I even had kids. I was fucking with you. No relationship shit. Yeah. You know, but you was doing a little funny weird shit. I blocked you. This nigga went and tried to talk to one of my baby daddy, baby mamas. Damn. Then turned around and tried to talk to my cousin. Yeah. Bitches, you know I know. You don't get no cool points because every nigga you fuck with got more money than you. Yeah. So I would be foul as fuck to go fuck one of them niggas. Tell Vine I said what's up too. Kind of cute. <laughs> Damn, G. <laughs> that nigga can't get snow left. He <laughs> added me on fucking Facebook. I'm nigga, don't add me. <laughs> fuck you think this is? You get snow left no more. <laughs> Yeah, uh, G. <laughs> you fucked up. Yeah, that's a, that's a I, little free promo for your yeah, bitch ass. Just, <laughs> I ain't never had nobody name names. Shit, so In yeah. fact, give my LLC back, bitch. <laughs> yeah, G, don't be mad at me, cuz. <laughs> G, go back. Why you ever talking to me like that, cuz? <laughs> like, I'm just a podcaster, dog. <laughs> well, right, on right, to the next. <laughs> it's all I love, dog. It's just still fun, nigga. Dog. Yeah, yeah, fuck G. Uh, on my time. <laughs> On my time, you say, have you ever had to struggle every day and every night? Yeah. Talk about that. like, the, and Just give me a, one of them stories that you never yeah, forget yeah. as far as like that struggle. Shit. I mean, we just being real. That shit is like an ongoing thing because life gets half ups and downs. But, bro, it ain't been times I'm really like literally thinking like, I'm talking about thinking like, damn, I don't know how the fuck I'm going to do this. Or like, mm -hmm. I don't know how the fuck I'm going to make this shit work. Or, you know, and I ain't going to lie. It'd be, be that higher power because it happened every time. I just get that blessing or, yeah. you know, I get I get another chance. You know, they I was young. I learned about Mr. 30 Days. You know, Mr. 30 Days. But give me help. Mr. 30 Days. Every 30 Days, them bills do. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Mr. Yeah. 30 Days don't miss a motherfucking day. No. Nah, He's yeah, coming. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So once the I get, I don't give a fuck if I ain't got dollars in my motherfucking pocket. I'd be like, 30 days. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. 30 days and make that shit shake. And hell Mr. Yeah. 30 Days, you know, that nigga put some sense into you. No, hell yeah. yeah but that, the struggle be for real, though. Like, yeah. you know. Have there ever been a situation that you just didn't even think you was going to make out of? Like, man, this shit, it's too, it's, I'm too down bad right now. Shit, hell yeah. I wish one of y'all broke ass hoes would try to laugh, <laughs> but no. Uh, when I like when I first first moved into my house and shit, mm. bills up the ass. Mm -hmm. I ain't know nothing. I ain't know no better. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, I just yeah. wanted, wanted to be grown mm -hmm. and shit. Uh, the pandemic had hit. Uh, I wasn't. I wasn't hip to the to the one shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Damn, yeah, take yeah. me back. <laughs> I wasn't hip yet. You know what I'm saying? I'm like I don't know how the fuck. I'm a, you know, yeah, I just made this big ass power move. Like, two, I was living in Battle Creek. Like, mm -hmm. it's like an hour, 40 minutes away. Mm -hmm. Like, damn, now what the fuck I'm gonna do? I ain't mm -hmm. got no money. I spent all my money on this shit. Yeah. Job, this shit down. Yeah. Shit, that boy boy came through with the yeah, yeah. And I, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> he was good to go. Was great to go. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> now, uh, last one you said, 1942, that shit eased my pain. Yeah. Like, like, do you find yourself having to, like, do little things? I ain't gonna say necessarily drinking, but just like that kind of, like, ease your mind, get you back right? All right, so. I stopped drinking for like three to four months. Mm. I just started back drinking. Mm. But um, I would say it was more so like, that shit do it ease your pain. Like, yeah. you really, you know what I'm saying? When you drinking, you ain't, unless you just too depressed. Don't drink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You started doing wild Don't shit. Don't drink. Yeah. Fuck around and did the wrong thing. Yeah, you yeah, woke yeah. up, God, how the fuck? <laughs> Hell yeah. How the fuck am I? For sure. but, you know what I'm saying? But um, other things, though, that I could do, though, um, really is just like, my son, just tend to him. Like, mm -hmm. when I'm going through something, I just, like, grab my baby, probably play with him, little shit like that. Um, I don't fuck with the pills. Mm -hmm. yeah, you know, people know. like pop perks and shit. Yeah, don't do that shit. I had a problem. Yeah. But I got, like, a strong, I got strong mind power. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, if I don't want to do some shit, I'm not going to do it. For so sure. if I feel like it was time to kick some shit, I, I kick it. But, yeah, for sure, for yeah. sure. Now, with your project, how long do you want to live with this until it's on to the next? We working on the next Yeah So yeah. you want to drop Multiple projects this year Yeah I want to Some singles I want to do some features You know I got some people in mind too Um I ain't really waiting to see Like How this turn out I know how this turn out This bitch fire Y'all go stream that Pressure mm -hmm. pack Pressure mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying But yeah. um I'm just want to stay consistent. Yeah, for sure. That's no, the you got to. Thing. You got to be consistent. Man. Like you can't drop once a year, once every three months. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Cause I want to have a catalog. Yeah, because niggas, like I said, social media niggas be looking for the next person. Like, and you drop that one time and don't do shit. Like, all right, what the fuck happened to this person? Or they just be like, shit, they forget about you. That's always been my biggest downfall. It's like not being consistent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, then I be, I had people come over here, drop an album, 
And we ain't heard from them niggas since. Like, they've been two years. Like, damn, nigga, what the fuck? Like, you it had the motion. be a lot of shit, though. Like, I, I understand, though, because it be real life. Like, in real life, some motherfuckers can't afford to keep dropping the album. Right? I mean, you that's know what true, I mean? too. That shit. It do be real life, but sometimes you just got to make, you got to make that shit a part of, like, the priority list, you know, mm-hmm. like you know how, like, damn, I gotta pay that light bill, yeah, yeah. or are we gonna be oh, in this bitch, up. you know. But light I do candles. got some candles I've been waiting <laughs> to burn. That bitch smell good too. Bitch do smell good. It's twenty five dollars. That bad for I might have to burn that bitch. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Some, I feel like uh, making a sacrifice though. You know, trying to figure out if you got people that fuck with you, don't be too ashamed to say like, shit. Can you help me with this? Mm-hmm. You know, I'm trying to get this done. Or I, you know what I'm saying? You never know who believe in you and really want to help you get to where you want to be. Mm-hmm. Some people know. You know uh, that they'll be rewarded in the yeah, long run. For sure, for sure. What's some short term or long term goals you got with this music shit? Uh, short term, I just want to, I just want people to know me. And mm-hmm. long term, shit, Cardi, Cardi B. Yeah. I fuck with you. <laughs> you got anybody from the that you want to work with on this project, or you just keeping um, it? Um, I got a few people. Um, mm. uh, but I'm. It's just still. A, it's just still in the thinking process. I won't really say nobody man. For sure, no, for sure. No, no. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Now, before everybody get on the show, I always ask them, like, do they want to rap anything, spit something and shit? Most of the time, niggas say no because niggas would be, like, too worried about fucking up or some shit. But you say yeah. Yeah. And you sent the beat. Mm-hmm. So we going to get to it. It's another shot style Tuesday, man. Got seven spit in this motherfucker, man. Pressure. Big pressure, man. Go ahead and check that project out, but she about to give us some bars. Pressure. Shout out Zay Blase. We on one. Huh? Look, I'm about to wake the city up. He said he want a badass little bitch. You about to get you one. Stump the whole front of off. Guess she ain't had no bow hole. Like PZ in 2014. I want my old hoes. Ooh. I'm just getting started. Resume say I'm smart, but the wrist say retarded. And I ain't worried about no weak bitch, cause I know I'm a walker. Slid down on a bitch and something fast. I track hawked her. Know that I'm a dog. I got that dog in me. I think I'm finna bang that shit. Somebody call Jimmy. And I don't want no dubs in my pocket. Somebody give me 50. Round, round with a city girl. Somebody call Diddy. Did he? Or did he not? Cause I don't think he hit the target. Somebody spin the block. Bitches know that I'm on go, so somebody scream and stop. Don't nobody know this nigga, but he swear he got the op. Oh my god, it's way too quiet in this bitch. Where the loud? The way you bitch loving the crew, you so foul. So much weight on my body, but I still smile. Cause I'm knowing by the end of the day, he eating out. Bitch think we beefing? I had to change the tempo. Like, baby, I am vegan. She must ain't get the memo. White girl from that way. Bitch, I the MO. He think he finna get him some Nikki. I taught him in out. West 7 Mile, bitches know where I'm from, but I'm good in every hood cause bitches know how I'm come, and hoes gon' never come direct, they always seven on the gram, cause nine times out of ten out of ten, I took our man, huh? Uh, I'm the chosen one This nigga say he love me He must think that he the only one I gave him all the same heart I'm talking about the broken one Lens on one second I'm talking about the focus one It's seven spitter Shout out to everybody Shout out to Tuesday Yeah I ain't gonna give y'all no bars this time Pressure <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. Make sure y'all go get that pressure pack. Yeah. Motherfucker, good eight, eight, eight tracks on that motherfucker. Yeah. Going crazy and shit, man. If you had to do a Making a Band album back in the day, Diddy, you mentioned Diddy in the, in the bars. Diddy Bop, did he do it? <laughs> I hope he did, dog. Damn. But did he not? Right? Another, another fallen legend, dog. Fuck. Man, I hate to see it, but the truth of the matter is, these niggas is human. Yeah, but that's a little too, much, <laughs> too intense what he got going on, boy. Damn, nigga. I hope you ain't doing that, that shit, Diddy, dog. Please, man. Man. But if you had to make a making a band album, you and four other people. It could be producers, singers, rappers, whoever. I you bet. and four other people. I'm going to just do it straight like this. Um, I'm just off the bill. I need two producers. I got to have Zay Blase, and I got to have Bang That Shit, my nigga Jimmy. Mention sure. him. Um, myself, of course. Mm. And... Uh, if I had to pick somebody... Mm-hmm. They gotta be living. I mean, is this your dream? I don't know. Be nah, I would definitely my nigga Mirror Baby. Um, yeah. I, y'all gotta fuck with my nigga Mirror Baby. Like, just go stream his shit. You know, you know he got family too. You know, so yeah. I would definitely have him on that bitch. And he just talk crazy. Yeah. So, um, but if I had to pick somebody that was still here with me, I would definitely have my nigga G Ski. Okay, for sure. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. What um, what's something that you regret as far as like the way you started? What's something that you know what I'm saying that you wish you could have switched up and shit like? As far as this music shit, um, man, I just, I just wish I would have been more consistent from the beginning. Cause I, I know I'd have been way further than where I am now. Mm-hmm. Now I feel like I'm just getting back into it. I'm just getting, 
you know, get my foot in the door for real. For sure. But um, definitely would have had a different name. Yeah, yeah. I was like, the name I had was just like. I want to know that. You got to tell, 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 tell me on camera and shit. I will. You will be surprised. Like, yeah. damn. But, um. <laughs> Nah, yeah, just staying consistent because, you know, like I said, everybody thought that Love That Spitter was something else, and that shit took me for a storm. Like, I thought mm. I was doing what? <laughs> <laughs> young nigga shit versus some shit you been through. What's some shit as a youngin' that you don't believe in now? Um, uh, shit, you gotta, you gotta be in the streets. You gotta hustle. You ain't yeah. gotta do that shit. You can go get a job. Yeah. Like, I had plenty of them. I, I got a list from here. To West Seven Mile, mm -hmm. as long as me and jobs I done had. <laughs> and don't feel like you gotta stay in something. Like no matter what it is, like you said, like I said, like relationship, job, none of that shit. Mm -hmm. Like, um, I don't believe in just staying content. I remember working at jobs and I heard motherfucker be like, Yeah, I've been here for five years. Yeah. Well, congratulations, <laughs> bitch. It will not be me. Yeah, you say five months, nigga. <laughs> but I was thinking I'm about up. I was thinking about five days. I'm trying to get a check about this bitch. I got stuff to do. <laughs> for real. Yeah, well, uh, what what's some advice to someone who, you know, saying want to start this music shit, but too afraid? Um, don't be afraid. But I would definitely mm -hmm. say the most important thing is you gotta like I feel like Everything happened for a reason. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like how I kept saying, like, damn, I supposed to been doing this? It might have been a reason I was supposed to wait because I honestly don't feel like I would have had the same, like, chemistry I got with him for sure. as far as, like, um, producers. So mm -hmm. definitely find a producer There's some people you can lock in with. No, that's some important. Other. Don't be around a bunch of yes men. Like, niggas that's going to be like, that's cool, that's straight. He's yeah. not going to do that. Yeah. That nigga will tell you. Nah, I ain't gonna lie, spitter. You need to. Yeah, no, you, that's important. Yeah, niggas might even running. throw out a couple of ideas or something like. But he, you know, mm -hmm. you need some people that's gonna help you critique what you need to where you need to be at. Mm -hmm. So, um, the best thing I for sure did was locked in with uh, Zay. I ain't gonna yeah. lie. Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. What's the, what is success for you? Like at the end of the day, what what's success like for spitter? Uh, I just want to have that stability and more so that um. That uh, financial relief, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like success, I might. There is no limitations to the shit. Mm -hmm. You know, I could be like, oh, I just want to get a million dollars. That's where I want to stop at. Yeah. Like, uh, <laughs> hell no, yeah, yeah. twenty billion dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I want to, I want to take this shit to another level. And then in the near future, I do want to be able to have my own like brand as far as the pressure shit, cause that shit more than just the word. Like, I didn't even realize how long I be saying like was saying pressure, mm -hmm. but like that shit gonna be something one day. These yeah, bitches yeah. don't wanna fuck with pressure. They gonna wanna fuck with the pressure pack. Hell yeah, hell yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. G gonna wanna fuck with pressure too and shit. <laughs> <laughs> pressure. <laughs> <laughs> now towards the end we always do a little silly shit. So I got this thing called what's worse. I give you two things, you tell me which one's worse. I bet. All right, what's what's worse? Failing at something or not starting? Not starting it. All right, what's worse? Find out your parents aren't your real parents or find out your siblings are adopted? Find out my parents ain't my real parents. <laughs> <laughs> what's worse? Find out your your mate cheated through text or in action? Whew, them text messages. I mean, hold on. Wait, let me just think. Text message. Damn, baby. The way you was like, okay. <laughs> in person, I don't kill one of the motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's worse, a rapper that's wearing fake designer clothes or fake uh, jewelry? Jewelry. And I ain't gonna say nothing. But y'all niggas know who y'all is. Yeah, Stop yeah. doing that shit. <laughs> just, just, bro, just thug it out of my nigga. Yeah, no, See, sure. I ain't got no ice on, brother, because yeah. I was gonna come, <laughs> gonna come in here with the cubic zirconium, but I changed my mind. Like, yeah. For sure. But, uh, uh, what's worse, not having no money for your on your son's birthday or not having no money on Christmas? Christmas. Finally. That's what niggas say. Birthday, Christmas is like. Nigga, the, the birthday. Day. We about to go to the park. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I don't turn it up. Everybody there. Christmas. Imagine yeah. an empty tree. Yeah, exactly. Or dog. no tree. Like birthday, you can make some shit up. Man, you know what I'm saying? Birthday, we person. can do anything. Come on, bitch, you're going to go to the beach. We yeah. can barbecue, put some hot dogs Hell on yeah, the Yeah, for sure. For sure. What's worse? Losing your, um, losing your man to your homegirl or losing your man to your ex? Oh, shit. <laughs> My homegirl. I went, these niggas don't surprise me. <laughs> <laughs> What's worse? Somebody talking through a movie or somebody telling you an ending? Telling me the ending. All right. What's worse? No car, nice crib, or nice car, no crib? No car. Hey, man. That, them wheels is important. Yeah, yeah. What's worse? Being a tall nigga with short arms or being a short nigga with tall legs? I don't know how that second one really <laughs> work out. Told you some shit. But... I guess the the short arms. <laughs> all right, let, what, what's worse, <laughs> your man come extra quick, or he can't get it up at all? To get it up at all, I could do. I mean, this is part of my. I I have yet to meet somebody 
who just want to put a little time into it. <laughs> Ain't all about you, brother. <laughs> Hell no. Uh, last thing I got is called too early, too late, or right on time. Sex. You had sex too early, too late, or right on time. Right on time. All right. Figuring out life. Too early, too late, or right on time. Too late. Moving out your parents' house. Too early. <laughs> First relationship. Too early. Leaving a messed up relationship. Too fucking late. <laughs> First job. Uh, too early. First album. Too late. Start music. Too late. <laughs> Find out Santa Claus wasn't real. He ain't. <laughs> they roll up another one. God damn, man. Man, <laughs> now you say you got some new projects. You got video. You about to uh, start? What you doing the video? For, uh, what's what's on? I'm um, about to do a video for getting to it right. Mm -hmm. Um, the cook clean and my fuck good. Yeah. I'm gonna do a video today. I just did a one mic with GMT mm -hmm. uh, to my time. Mm -hmm. Um, next is trying to do a video to P word. Mm -hmm. Um, that's still in the works, but hopefully the person I do it with, hopefully that shit go through because mm -hmm. that'll be fire. That'll be for sure. pressure. Hell yeah, hell yeah. You got any, you got any, a time frame for the next project, or are you just? Thugging out with this one Um, We kind of like Already started on it And it don't really Take me no time Like mm. if I really Just lock in And just sit in the studio And just work For mm. like two days I could finish the project Hell But yeah. um, by me wanting To get features on there I don't really have a time I'm hoping um, It be before the summer though So I could For just sure. have A little more yeah, of a catalog Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just yeah. gotta stay consistent Gotta keep your face In their face Hell yeah No that's a fact You got Every day You gotta post something Stay in a motherfucker So they can see you Cause that Little Instagram algorithm junk, you get lost like a motherfucker, mm -hmm. and you be posting niggas don't even, won't even see it. Mm -hmm. It's because you ain't posting enough. That's the one thing I learned about that shit. Yeah, got post at least a couple times a day. Or whatever. Yeah, I know they tired of me. I was posting mimosas. Why the fuck is this bitch posting mimosas <laughs> to lick? I don't know. Good morning. <laughs> yeah. Hell no, hell no. Where can you find you on socials and all that good stuff? Uh, just we just gonna fuck with the gram for right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm still working on getting all the socials together. Um. I gotta make a new Twitter, man. Mm -hmm. I was a crybaby on that bitch. I ain't got time for nobody pulling up tweets from three years ago. Yeah, this like, bitch was depressed. Like, yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll pass. Yeah. But just uh, love that spitter on Instagram. You know, love, L O V E T H A T, spitter. Mm -hmm. For sure, for sure. You got any uh, advice you wanna give people? Any motivational words? Get up off your ass. Yeah. <laughs> just get up off your motherfucking ass, man. Oh, yeah, it's short and easy. Uh, get up off your ass. That's it. Whatever it is, it don't matter what the fuck it is. You gotta finish that project. Get yeah. up off your ass. Oh, yeah. You got. You gotta get, get up. Just get up off your ass. That's For all sure. I'm gonna say. For sure. And when the next project come out, we got we gonna come on location. We come to my man's studio. Oh, yeah, y'all definitely all oh, there. Definitely gotta gotta say this. If you were trying to get your shit out here, you better fuck with these niggas. Why they around this bitch? Cause we about, we going up here with it. Yeah, so yeah. come to first place. What what he say? Come to death row. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, spit up. Uh, S P I T T A H. For sure. Yeah, yeah. You gotta definitely do that, niggas. On you know what I'm saying? Gotta be able to find you and shit. Yeah. <laughs> seven spitter. It's seven spitter. Better know who it is. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Like I said, I fuck with the project. Project hard and that. shit like that. Like I said, if it was that, I wouldn't have responded back. Yeah. <laughs> You know, what I'm saying? I, don't want I was confident too because you like you got some music. I said, give me like 24th, tap in. For on sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because when you say you want to come on, I'm looking like, all right, where music at? <laughs> so, 24th, I'm like, all right, bet. So, as soon as I see you post it, I ran, I ran right to it. Yeah, but no, I appreciate you reaching out, appreciate you coming on. Definitely, when you drop the next project, we got to lock in again. Yeah, for sure. And you already know, man. Shout out to everybody, podcast, best podcast in the city. If you think it's different, you fucking up, man. You fucking up. Episode 185, Seven Spitter, that pressure, man. Pressure. We out this motherfucker, dog. <laughs>